All right, hello everybody, it's Uzo, and I will be showing you guys how to use your Axiom pads in an MPC style. Um, I'll be showing you two ways through FL Studio. Uh, I'm using the Axiom 49, actually, but this should work on any first generation Axiom, and I'm not sure about second generation, but um, you know, 25, 61, it should work. So the first thing we wanna do is go to Options, Media Settings, and um, it doesn't matter if this is task cam or generic controller, just make sure your um, um, MIDI controller is recognized. And um, let's go ahead and open up FPC, which is what we'll be using, and SliceX. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how to do it on your own, but I'm also gonna be providing presets, which are downloadable, and uh, I'll have links in the description. So the first thing you notice in the FPC is that when you click on your pads, they, they make sounds, but they're out of order. So to fix that, you have to actually click on the sound, um, or the pad, rather, and press learn, and then click on the pad you want to assign it to. So um, you would have to go through and make these one by one, and I just don't have time in this video. Um, so I'm going to explain some other things up here. With the cut, what this does, um, you would want to set these equal to each other the cut and cut by and that assures that two sounds don't play at the same time which could be good um, and bad it depends on what you're going for if you're sampling something then you know you might want that um, for it to chop to give it that choppy feel but for drums we are going to leave that alone so we can play two sounds at the same time um, with the output this goes to the mixer so on output three on this there we go it's right there on output three um, so with my uh, preset, I have drum FPC right here. We'll open this in a new channel, and we can um, all the notes are already assigned. So these first eight actually are assigned to the notes on your pads for your Axiom. Um, hopefully, it's universal and everybody has the same notes, which is G sharp on the third octave, um, A on the third octave, and so on. But um, basically, now you can load in whatever sound you're looking for or you want to use. And yeah, that's really it. Let's see. So now you can play it, um, which is pretty cool. Um, now the second option with the slice X would be if you have something like a drum loop, um, which I have one right here from a, one of my favorite songs from back in the day. So what you go ahead and do, if you haven't um, learned how to use slice X, I have a tutorial, which is really for sampling, but I'm not gonna really go too much in depth. Now you can go watch that to learn the basics, but um, let's go ahead and chop this up. this right here all right so I have this chopped up the way I want now what you would do is first of all you have to click on the pad or actually tap on the pad that you want to assign so I'm tapping on the first pad then you right click trigger note and last hit and then same thing tap on the pad first then right click, trigger note, and then last hit. Tap on the pad again, and we have this. Last hit, excuse me. So now when we play it with our um, MPC pads on our Axiom, and you actually have to hold it for the duration you want, so. Which is pretty cool. Um, you know, you could also use that for sampling. If you had an actual song that you wanted to sample, you could use that and really get that chop effect. Um, so really, that's that's the basics of using your um, F MPC pads, I want to say Axiom pads, um, for drums. Now, my second preset that I'm including um, is the blank FPC, which has all the notes accordingly, the same as a drum, but these actually have the cuts 
So if you have something chopped up, every day I lead a crib. Every day I lead. I don't really have anything here. All right. So every time you play one note, um, the next note that you play, you know, they won't play at the same time, basically. And that's the difference. I have the cuts on each individual channel here already done for you, which is a pretty big deal because that took a long time. But um, I'll give you an example. Every day I lead a crib with no. So that's that's basically that. And um, you know, those these are just you know creative outside of the box ways that you can do things if you, you ever want to jam out on your pads um, <laughs> but I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial be sure to subscribe because you know this stuff takes a lot of hard work and um, I'm really aiming for quality so like I said be sure to subscribe and have a great day